which I would take my advance. Let me get you guys to pull down here because I want you guys to get a full. So right here is my, oh, I like this. This is a shot, ain't it, y'all? Look at this shot, golly. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I'm Archie Beats and I am here to help. And whoa, your boy really need a shave. This is what happened when your wife is six months pregnant and you doing all the work and running around doing all that. But today I'm gonna to show you guys what do I travel to record and to produce with? And the insane part is most of it can fit in this bag right here. So guys, for the past like two, three weeks, I've been working so hard trying to convert my setup into a mobile setup and have some, you know, mobile capabilities in my studio, like a for real legit powerful system because the wifey is pregnant. And then here in Atlanta, a lot of my friends own studios or either manage studios. And I want to be able to go hang out with them and be able to still work at the same time while, you know, we're talking and hanging out because... It's a lot of work take place here in Atlanta, for sure. You guys know too, when I head to LA, I already got my studio out there, Radio, and Radio is pretty powerful, so I don't need to carry much out there other than my hard drive. <laughs> when I go out to my studio in LA. I took some time, y'all, just installing the right software for make sure all the firmware was updated. It was a lot of boring stuff you guys don't really want to hear about. But some also some more awesome stuff happened, and I'm so excited. I'm Featured on Sweetwater now. I got my top gear picks on Sweetwater. So y'all should definitely check that out because um, Sweetwater's featuring pretty much the top gear that I, I recommend. And this gear on here will help you on your creative journey. I own some of the stuff and some of the stuff I don't, but I've worked with it enough to actually recommend it to you guys. So that's over there on Sweetwater. It's down in the description below. I'm gonna do the um, gear top picks. I'm gonna label it down below so y'all check that out. But yeah, man, um, most of my portable studio can fit <laughs> in this right here no kidding no kidding my cabin climb bag this was supposed to be a travel bag for my clothes and stuff but now it's my studio bag so pretty much the centerpiece of my situation is my macbook pro from 2013 which is um it's a pretty decent computer it's my only mobile computer that i've ever had and it's perfect it gets the job done it's powerful enough it's not too much, it's not too heavy. It got all the connectivity I want on it. As you guys can see, it has the classic connectivity on it. It has the um, Firewire, also the Thunderbolt 2, and then the USB 2 and a USB 3 on here and the SD card, which I love because I can just pop my camera in, but for the most part now with my Canon, I pretty much download all the videos I do when I do the professional grade videos. I pretty much just download it as I'm recording it. So that's not a big issue. And then my headphones, the Austrian Audio, these are the high X 55s here. I got the little bag for them, I put them in there. And then my new G Technology drive, which is wonderful. I love this drive. And I actually have my studio set up to where I can interchange it. Like when I sit down at my desk, I can literally just just plug everything into my iMac, take everything out of my out of my MacBook Pro, and go. And even my, um, which is next, is my audio interface, which is the Apollo Twin X Quad that I travel with. Really like to be so daggone powerful. To me, I prefer it more than my rack mount Apollo when I travel because it's so much lighter. And you guys seen the case that I feel. Hold on, this thing right here, my Apollo Twin. Actually, this right here replace this huge case right here that I have to put a power supply in, have to run cables every time you guys hear it when you're talking, it's like an echo. And it's just a lot to deal with. I'm so happy that my system is so powerful because my Apollo Twin X is my audio interface. I got my G Technology drive and then my controller, which I would take my advance. Let me get you guys to pull down here because I want you guys to get a full. So right here is my, oh, I like this. This is a shot, ain't it y'all? Look at this shot, golly. I like this shot right here, but yeah, this is my Advanced 61. I travel with this sometime too. I'm not gonna even lie with you guys because I gotta have those. I gotta have enough keys to um, do my production with. And this right here is normally what I usually um, travel with on a plane. I can't break this out and go hard with the plane. If I'm driving somewhere, I take this. If I'm not, 
I don't even bother because I don't want anybody turning up under the plane. And of course, you guys know I'm not taking my motifs over here at all. But yeah, this is um, with my hard drive, my, and I have this cool little, this cool little um, thing I purchased off Sweetwater. Sweetwater got so much cool stuff, but I purchased this off Sweetwater about two weeks ago and it's been working just fine. It's the StarTech USB hub and I'm gonna pretty much put it below. It's in the description. Everything in the description below with the exception of all the discontinued stuff, like my old classic MacBook, your boy ain't upgraded yet. So, and then of course, my U87 can fit in the bag as well. My U87 is not that heavy. The shark mount takes up some real estate in the box, but if I can actually, you know, get it into like my hard drive bag, which most of the time I'm able to get into my hard drive bag, because I'm a hard drive that bag is in a whole different situation. I don't really throw that in just a bag with anything because you want to protect your memory. And I haven't quite went over to the SSD yet, the solid state drive. So anything with moving parts, I don't really, you know, keep with all the rest of the stuff. So yeah, and I can't take no monitors. So that's what the headphones are for. The headphones are strictly for the monitoring. And then if you're going to a bigger studio, you can just just balance out or headphone out or aux out into the, the system, the console, whatever they have in there, the patch bay, you can just, you know, you got resources when you go to a bigger studio. So that's pretty much what I want to do it for. And then I work from bedroom a lot. I really work from bedroom a lot because like I said, the wife, he's pregnant and six months and we, you know, I'm trying to make sure I'm being the right, a good guy being there for the wifey. And also, um, like when I go travel to the bigger studios around the city, I can just throw it in my bag, put it in my car and just get ready to go. And as far as the mic stand for my 87 and stuff, I pretty much carry this right here. I have a like a standard pro line mic stand. Here's a tripod just so it can balance out and be stable to hold my Aston Halo Shadow Edition, which is a really, really, really dope reflection filter. I have a video on that as well. Y'all check that out. And also I do have a review on my U87 too. I just posted a video about a week ago, so it's right there. Make sure you guys watch it. It's um it's really cool because it took me some years to do it. I wanted to, I was a little bit taken back about doing it because it's so freaking expensive but then i got so many requests from my subscribers to just do the dog on video or to review the 87 how does it sound because a lot of you guys out there are interested in purchasing one so i just wanted to um get that out the way because whatever i have in my home studio i'm going to <laughs> pretty much review it for you guys and show you guys um how it sounds how it works the durability how long does it last because that's what this is really about you want to you know, YouTube is an information community. It's like somebody else have something you don't have and you want to purchase it. You get the information and see their point of view of it and then go get another person's opinion about the same thing. It's a healthy ecosystem. We got to keep the audio ecosystem going. Y'all know I say that every day, man. What's good with it? We getting it in. We doing a lot of work and um, I'm really happy and I really appreciate you guys for supporting me all the way through. Don't forget to go check out my Sweetwater like top gear picks, man. I'm I'm excited. That's major. It's really major that they, you know, I'm featured on there. I got my own page of gear that I suggest. So if you guys need anything in your studio, make sure you check that out and go over there and click the description below because, hey, we getting it in around here. And I want to help you guys out as much as possible so you can have a, a good time on your creative journey. And it's a lot of great stuff out there, a lot of inexpensive stuff, a lot of expensive stuff that you can really get some great stuff, get some great recording done, so and some great production done. So man that's what it is so what are you guys doing today comment below let me know how you guys are spending your weekend don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video and also don't forget to check me out on instagram and twitter follow me archie beats with a z you guys are absolutely fantastic don't forget to be great and create this is your boy archie beats and i'm signing off archie beat on the beat yeah